And for more on Nikki Haley's continued rise in the New Hampshire polls, we are joined by retired Army Brigadier General Don Bolduck. He chairs the New Hampshire chapter of Nikki Haley for president. General Bolduck, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me, and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. We know polls show that Haley is getting closer and closer to frontrunner Donald Trump. How will she get over that last hurdle before next month's primary? Well, I think that uh, she is a surging candidate. Uh, she has the momentum at this point in time. Uh, this is really, in New Hampshire, a two-person race uh, between Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. There's no question about that. A strong determined, hardworking, and experienced woman who has been campaigning the New Hampshire way, and that's why she continues to gain in the polls, and that's how she's going to win in New Hampshire against uh, President Trump. She has done over 100 events, uh, media events, town halls. She's gotten out there and talked to people. She's been in their homes. She's been in their businesses. She has dedicated her time here in the state of New Hampshire the way Granite Staters uh, want their candidates uh, to campaign for the first in the primary, uh, first in the nation primary. This is hugely important, uh, you know, campaign strategy, and she has been very, very successful at it. And General, we know Haley is showing strong numbers in New Hampshire, certainly, but nationally, she still does lag behind Trump and DeSantis. Why do you think that she's having trouble resonating with voters outside of these early primary states? Well, it's just a matter of her uh, being able to get out there. You know, when we started in New Hampshire, we started at 1%. We went to 3%. Now we're trailing Donald Trump by 4% here in the state of New Hampshire. That's well within the margin of error. When you hear Nikki Haley, you like her. When you meet her, you love her. And when she gets out there, you're going to see all these things change and reverse. She is an excellent candidate. She's got the public service um, dedication, as well as the private virtues that America's, Americans are looking for to unite this country and bring this country together. There is no better or stronger candidate, and Americans will begin to see that uh, as we move through this election season. Finally, after the holidays, what will the campaign's main focus likely be before Iowa and New Hampshire voters pick uh, which Republican that they want as their nominee? Well, you know, here in New Hampshire, it's going to be, you know, Nikki Haley's going to get back in here three more times before the 23rd. So, you know, it, it's about getting out there. It's about listening. It's about listening to Nikki Haley, who understands the problems, but more importantly, understands what the solutions are and communicates those solutions. And she does it in a way that's 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 inclusive. She understands she has to serve all Americans and that Americans are deeply troubled now with the division in this country. And she will be a uniter, uh, not a divider. And that what that's what sets her apart from all other candidates. And that's what we're going to be focusing on. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.